Jennifer motherfucking Lewis. I've done 63 motherfucking films, 259 television shows, and four Broadway shows. Don't fuck with me. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. What it do everyday people man, it's your boy PJ and today we back with another lit video, back in the confessional And yeah, we staying lit man, we back on some uh, 32 Gang versus G-Ball content Man, shout out to the whole 32 Gang and shout out to the guy G-Ball man He recently reached out to me and I think, I think he made a response to my video Now I wouldn't say this was technically a response because it's not like a back and forth. Niggas ain't got no back and forth. But I'm gonna just I'm gonna break this down to y'all in, in fine PJ fashion. You know what I'm saying? Cause some of this shit may sound confusing. But anyway, my content on my content on my video, I don't want y'all to get the wrong idea. I do not have no problem with this man G Ball, and I don't really care what goes on with the 32 gang and they affiliation i just hope they get some understanding and straightening out between them as men and as black men at that you know what i'm saying but uh another thing is i bring i bring a lot of the situations up because i went through shit like this you know what i'm saying so i brought my situation into it because i want people to understand how niggas is now it, it doesn't matter what they is but I was just breaking down game and that's my content. If you go to any of my prison vlogs and any shit I talk about how I relate, how I relate relationships and people to shit that I seen in prison. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so to speak on this, to speak on their situation, G-Ball was like, you know, how the fuck y'all gonna talk about niggas y'all don't know and y'all defending them and shit. Look, I, look. I'm speaking from the outside looking in. But honestly, the shit looks crazy because you come on YouTube and you just throw out some wild accusations. And we know y'all was cool. So at that point, nigga, when you put that shit out there like that, niggas is going to respond. Niggas is going to make their own assumptions. Now, what I won't do is... what? Now, what I won't do is act like I know what the fuck is going on. Act like I know the 32 gang and act like... I'm, I'm about it. I'm not about to do a goddamn thing in the name of 32 Gang. You know what I'm saying? I've met them. I've, I, I rock with them. But I'm pretty sure they can handle their own. So, needless to say, let's talk about, I'm going to continue to talk about the video that G-Ball dropped in response to my video. Now, his video cut off all of a sudden while he was talking about R. Kelly. That might be uh, that might be the Illuminati, but regardless of the fact, while he was talking about uh, different situations, he also mentioned some niggas pillow talking. Now, I told y'all, I told y'all this shit was about to come out. I told y'all somebody was fucking with somebody's baby mama and trying to fuck on something. So, and I caught this in a couple of videos ago. That he was getting on Tunchi. He was getting on Tunchi. Little head Tunchi. He was just like getting on that nigga. I was like, damn, what what Tunchi do? But I, I saw Marty Mart video, not Tunchi's. So I was just like, fuck it. Maybe I need to go watch one of Tunchi's videos after that. <clears throat> but regardless of the fact, uh Tunchi jumped in that nigga baby mama DMs. And of course, he got a solid woman. She told him this nigga over here, do 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 do. But you know what's crazy is, is that like, man, it's niggas that do that shit all over the world, man. And like the main, like if it's a nigga that hate you, the first thing they gonna do is try to get at your woman. See, cause I had niggas that was my homies back in the day and I'm telling y'all the truth, nigga, this is real life, nigga. I got some slimy ass homies and baby mamas, you know what I'm saying? These niggas would actually go after my baby mamas when they they felt slighted. Like one time we was we was like 20 shit. 22, 23, 121, what well, was young as fuck. And uh you know I had a homie this girl that he was messing with, I worked with her and her and her friend used to pick me up to go to work. So one day they called and was talking they, they called my friend's phone because I didn't have a cell phone at the time. Cell phones was 
few and far in between. Not many people had them back then. But uh, they called. She called his phone and was like, is she. She put him. She had him on speak. She had the. He had the girl on speakerphone, and I just kept it on speakerphone. And she was like, "Hey, you ready for work?" I said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready when whenever y'all get here." And then she was like, "Are you coming back to the house tonight?" And I said, "Shit, yeah, I might. I ain't got shit else to do." She said, "Okay, just come back. I want to see you tonight. Keep it on the DL." And she on. She on fucking. She on fucking uh, speakerphone and everybody in there, even her boyfriend, the nigga, that was my homeboy. And I was like, I was shocked. Cause I was like, what the fuck? So I'm like, damn. And so everybody started clowning this nigga after that, right? So from that moment on, that nigga was trying to get at my baby mama, you know what I'm saying? So, and he even told my baby mama that I fucked her. You know, that's some hating ass nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas hate that much. And that's what they'll do. They'll go after your girl. And I wasn't going after that nigga woman. I had no idea she felt like that, that she wanted to, to be with me or anything like that. It had nothing. In the, but matter of fact, a lot of the girls was passed around back then. So it's not like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like it was a, you know, a big deal or anything. It was just like, damn, she that bold about it. That she called my homie's phone knowing we all in the same house. You know what I'm saying? We kick it together every day. But the, the fact of the matter is, she did that, then he did some whole shit. And, you know, and my baby mama got mad. She was, she was, she heard about the bitch and was, you know, tripping and shit like that. And, you know, it just started a bunch of bullshit just over a fuck nigga mad about his bitch that he lost his bitch. And, that, and that's because niggas like when, when shit goes in a certain direction, when a nigga want to get at you, they're gonna come after your woman, man. That's that's just a plain, simple matter. Like, man, I ain't gonna lie, I did it before on a nigga I didn't like. It wasn't my homeboy, but it was just a nigga I didn't like. Fuck this girl, cause shit, she was easy to it was easy to fuck him over and fuck her over too. At that, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't like him. Now I wouldn't try to do this to people I know, but I mean it's happened. I didn't fuck the homie's baby mama before, but it was just like you know, it's just all kind of circumstantial. You gotta see the situation and understand whatever happened. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't, you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I'm not about to be like uh, defending no fuckboy shit, nigga. That was some uh, fuckboy shit I did at that time. So, I mean, shit, I know it's a lot of niggas that did some fuckboy shit, but I mean, you, you gotta go through it to do it. You know what I'm saying? You don't, but once you know better, you'll do better. Like, I was like, man, I never try to fuck with another uh, bitch that was my homeboy's baby mama or girlfriend because them bitches is scandalous. But the fact of the matter is, he knew she was scandalous. So it wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like it was a fucking, you know, secret or anything. That bitch was scandalous and a crackhead. So, um, but I didn't know all that at the time. But anyway, but the point is, shit, shit gets crazy when, when you got homeboys and you got ex-homeboys. The first thing they gonna wanna do is try to fuck your girl, try to take, uh, you know, be in your kid's life and talk shit about you to your kids or get your kids to talk shit about you or be like, a nigga do this. And bitches do this shit too. Uh, we'll take a picture with your kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, just take a picture with your kid, put it on social media, probably not tag you, probably tag you, whatever, just to be like, nigga, I'm fucking your bitch type shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is weird like that. But bitches do that shit too. Bitches will bitches will get take a picture with your kid, with your friend or somebody just to be on some some ho ass shit, some uh fuck you type shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's the type of baby mamas I got. Bitches that do some hoe ass shit and they want me to apologize and be all happy about their hoe ass lifestyles. Like hell nah, bitch, you you a dirt bag and you gonna stay a dirt bag until <laughs> until forever. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't understand why people think that being a dirt bag uh, will get you any play anywhere in my life. It won't. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to break that down, break that part of the whole video and everything I heard in the video, cause niggas be niggas be feeling some type of way. But you know, hey man, like I said, I hope these guys get it together. Uh, this shit is, 
I don't know. I don't know. But man, it's, as more comes out, these niggas gonna have to say something. But they gonna have to talk about it. They gonna have to. It's gonna have to be some straightening. Cause niggas is getting like. It's like y'all in the same city, technically. Y'all in the y'all same area, and I mean, eventually y'all gonna run into each other. So let's just not make it violent. That shit. Cause I don't think niggas. Is, niggas ain't ready to crash out over some dumb shit. It's over fucking YouTube, my nigga. Like. Fuck that whack ass shit. Man. Ain't nobody finna be fighting over that shit. But you know, it is what it is. You know, shout out to the whole 32 game. And shout out to the uh G Ball Blast on 30 foes. You know what I'm saying? G Ball Blast 30 foes, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that's on the on the it's a lot of people that's divided between this situation. There's the G Ball Blast people that I don't know who they are because you know, I don't know where he getting his fans from, but obviously a lot of people that hate CJ are um, G-Ball Blast fans. And then there's a lot of 32 game that's taking up for him. So, I mean, like I said, man, y'all can, you can like who you want, hate who you want, comment and talk shit and do whatever you want. But man, that shit ain't gonna get either channel nowhere. And I know these niggas want, both of these niggas speak positive, but they do be taking slight jabs. You know what I'm saying? And then the fact that, uh, you know, CJ got a baby out here, supposedly, you know, shit, that just make it even worse because now motherfuckers is just going to be attacking that. And they just, now they finna be attacking a baby and a girl that we don't even know if it's his baby or not. Or if it is, who gives a fuck? But if it's not, like, we really about to be attacking somebody's baby. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, I, I, I'm not finna read into that too much because I don't really give a fuck about a nigga baby mama drama. I got enough of my own and with my kids that, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not, it's not a funny thing to joke on a nigga not being able to take care of his, or not taking care of his kids, not not being able to. A nigga not taking care of his kids for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? And then you know what's crazy is, I don't know if it's his baby or not. But it's crazy how bitches beat the jump offs and they get pregnant and expect you to be a, a perfect fucking daddy. Like, bitch, we didn't plan on having a kid. We this we need to figure something else out. Cause me being a daddy is not what I wanted with you. That obviously, if she was a jump off, cause as we see, he has a lot of jump offs. You know what I'm saying? And it's just what it is. When you fucking with a nigga with money, you bitch, he gonna have bitches. And when he fuck around and get one pregnant, he dip. That have it, it happens to rich niggas and poor niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's, it happens to a bunch of people that you be like, man, man, what the fuck? It happens to famous people and non-famous people. Like, trust me, I know a nigga right now who dipped on his baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, just dipped, ain't spoke to his, spoke, seen, talked about nothing to his baby in two years. You know what I'm saying? So when you see shit like that, I just, you know, I just blow it off because I can't, I can't control it, and it ain't none of my goddamn business. You know what I'm saying? I'm just handling mines and going about. So when a nigga, what a nigga do with his kids and family, it's not none of my business. We just got a lot of uh, an earful about Charleston White and hit him talking about Ti's grown ass son. You know what I'm saying? Like Ti want to take up for his grown ass son but like i said when you talk about people's kids and you bring and start bringing up that shit you bring out different energy from some people you know what i'm saying and that's not the type of energy that i want to bring to my channel although i bring a lot of i'm bringing a lot of shit talking like i said man my videos where i'm robbing youtubers like you know what i'm saying that shit is uh i mean it's all a gimmick nigga i don't really give a fuck about these youtubers really Honestly, it's just something to bring the channel, bring the channel attention, and uh, cause I got a lot of real game for motherfuckers. But sometimes some of y'all a little uh, slow, you know what I'm saying? You like a uh, damn? It's been a, a long drive home from work, long day, and uh, I didn't let y'all know how I felt about the G ball and the 32 gang situation. I'm really not about to harp on it too much more unless they keep going back and forth, and I start filling out more details. And I gotta tell y'all more stories, uh, stories about how niggas be hoes and we don't even care you know what i'm saying it be niggas that be straight up bitches and we just you know we just don't give a fuck so uh that is my two cents thank you guys for watching make sure you guys like comment and subscribe let me know where y'all feel on this g boss and uh g ball and 32 gang situation and the niggas 
in your DM on your about your baby mama, like you know what I'm saying. Let me know where y'all feel like, where y'all feel that situation is going, man. Any everyday people, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and holler at you later. Peace.